What is up guys? Welcome to this Wiffle Ball bat taping tutorial. Normally right now we'd be playing Wiffle Ball games, but due to COVID-19, we cannot do that right now. So we'll be doing uh, weekly uploads. They'll be Mondays at 6 p.m. So look out for those. There'll be videos like these. All right guys, so for the first step here, uh, by the way, this step does not apply to you if you just bought a new bat and it's completely cleaned and you just got in the mail. So uh, what you're going to need to do here, if you have a used bat, when you take off the tape, you might see some dirt or like stickiness on there. You're going to want to get a sponge and water and uh, rub it off. So go ahead and do that because you don't want any clumps when you put the new tape on. The second step here, so you got your bat and next what you're going to need to do is choose your tape. So over here... Uh, we got some black and some orange duct tape and also you probably gonna need scissors But I don't usually use scissors. Oh, we chose these colors because last year the uh, team color that Bobby needed for his team were black and orange So we wanted to match the bat with the team. So that's step two on the step three for step three here You're gonna need your bat and your tape color selections. So Next, what you're going to need to do for this step is you're going to need to think to yourself how you want your bat to look at the end. And, like, you got to plan out where you're going to put the tape to make your bat look how you want it. With that being said, let's get the tape. Alright, guys, so for the start down here, what we want to do is do black tape. And then I'm going to do a stripe of orange at the end. And then I'm going to do all black for the barrel, but I'm going to put two stripes of orange over that. There's two ways you can approach this. You can either go the way that we're going to do, like you put one strand around, then you cut it. Or you can go kind of the sloppy way of just turning it and going. I don't like doing that with duct tape because it gets kind of caught up and it doesn't look good at the end. So don't do that, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and rip off the first piece of tape. Uh, make sure that you don't make it too short because that's not what you want. So I got my first piece of tape right here. I'm going to put it on the barrel where I want it. Right there. It can be up on the barrel, but I don't, I've never really liked it like that, so we're not going to do that. Push it down, and then you're going to turn it. i got to turn it a bit the other way. And if you mess up, just go back and redo it. So right here guys, uh, one thing I forgot to say, um, whenever you're, since it, see how it gets thicker, like it's thick at the top and it gets thinner as you go down and like it gets thicker this way, what you need to do is um, you need to angle it just a little bit like that, that way whenever you turn it straight just like that. This helps it not clump up too much because at the end it will be straight almost. And also guys, every time that you put down some tape, go ahead and use your hands and kind of flatten it out. That way you can just go ahead and get it pressed down. That way there's no clumps whenever you play. So guys, right here, what we're doing is at the end, I want orange striping. So what I'm gonna do is get out the right length and then I'm gonna rip it. And then I'm gonna rip it in half to make it thinner because I don't want the striping to be too big. All this does is cover up like the small uh, the small part that you might have messed up. So cover it up and then just stripe it like that. That is it for the grip guys for your hands. So we're going to go on to the barrel tape. Alright guys, so next we're on to the barrel tape, which this just makes your bat look good. You're going to need thicker uh, tape up here guys because it's thicker on the barrel. And also, if you've wrote anything down like we did, make sure that you, like, look and don't cover it up. So, I'm going to start here, since it's more flat on the barrel. I'm going to start about here, and I am going to roll that around. Make sure that it's straight, and that was perfect. Guys, look at how perfect that job was. That was literally perfect. Anyway, um, you're going to want to go up to about right there, as you guys can see. See where it start, if you see where it starts getting dirty right there, that's where our last bit of tape was whenever we took it off. So you're going to want to go to that same spot. But I'm not going to go ahead and put that down. I'm just going to go up. So back to the time lapse. So. last strand 
end right here. So what I'm going to do is pretty much perfectly line it up. And you could go a little bit over every time. It doesn't really make a difference. But you're just going to roll it around. And try to make it pretty lined up on this last one. So that was perfect actually. So now we're doing the striping. I'm just going to do two. So stripe there and one stripe there. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Alright guys, as you can see, we just finished doing the striping right here. We couldn't put three, so we just went ahead and put two. And we only have one more step left, which is, as you guys can see, we wrote down some stuff. We're just gonna sharp, we're just gonna get a sharpie and rewrite down that stuff to make the bat look better. But the tape, I'm not gonna lie guys, it turned out pretty well. So, on to the last step. Last step guys is completely optional. It's all up to you guys, but we had some stuff on here that we want to write over. So, I got a sharpie right here, a black sharpie. Because that matches the bat. You can use whatever color, but it might not work too out the end. And we're going to go ahead and do this. <laughs>